Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a silhouette, or um, as it's seen in the commercials, like the iPod dancing person, um, the black figure like that. I'll be showing you how to do that in Photoshop or GIMP. I will be using GIMP for this tutorial, so um, if you with GIMP, the free version of Photoshop, you'll be great. Uh, Photoshop is more or less the same, uh, just some different terminologies and buttons in different places. But anyways, to get right into the video, the one thing you'll need is obviously GIMP or Photoshop. You can get GIMP for free. I'll put that link in the description. And of course, Photoshop is in a very expensive software. You can get that. And then the other thing you'll need is the picture that you want to use that has the subject that you wish to create a silhouette of. Um, so you can get this online, or it can be a picture of yourself or a friend, whatever, guys. Um, just a picture. Uh, usually, you create a silhouette of a person or some kind of living creature. Um, so you want to get a picture of that, but you can do this with anything. So uh, once you've gotten the picture you wanted, I'm going to open up GIMP. So we're going to open up GIMP for Photoshop. And when GIMP loads up, or whatever software you're using, what you want to do is import the picture that you want to change into the software. So um, just for demonstrative purposes, I've decided to use a picture of uh, George W. Bush. Uh, no opinions on them that I'm going to leave today, but anyways, um, any picture is fine, like I said before. I'm going to zoom in a little bit since it's not a very big picture. It makes it easier to work with if the picture is enlarged. So uh, we'll make GIMP full screen. And here's the picture. Now the first thing you want to do is create a new layer. So you want to make sure you have the layers uh, panel open. I'm going to try to make this uh, video as uh, easy to follow as possible, but you know, if you're totally inexperienced with GIMP and Photoshop and such, then it will be a little difficult for you, but um, try to, I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can. But anyways, you want to have the Layers panel opened up. If you don't have that, all you need to do is click on Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click on Layers. And you'll have this layer. And you'll have one layer already called Background. What you want to do is in the uh, bottom left is uh, click Create a New Layer. And we're going to make sure it's set to Transparency. These will, automat uh, these will automatically be done for us and you can name it whatever, but you just want to make sure the layer fill type is transparency and make sure it is on top of background so if it isn't just move it up and down like that and you can keep it there. So now what you want to do is make sure this layer is selected, the new layer and in the toolbox which should auto automatically be opened you want to click on uh, path selection tool which is right here so right here. So you want to click on that and what you want to do is outline the shape of the figure so like this, create um, these little circles, and you want to make you want to put it around the figure that you're gonna silhouette. Um, you don't have to make it too perfect, but the uh, more accurate you are here, the better the silhouette will look, and that'll come in later. So I'm just gonna keep um, doing the outline of this. All right, and this is a very rough sketch of what I wanted to anchor, but you see that the figure that I want silhouetted is enclosed. And uh, you just want to make sure the last dot you put is like right behind the first dot that you put. And once you've got that done, what you want to do is in the toolbox, toolbox, click selection from path, and uh, the whole thing will be selected. Now you see like only a uh, piece has been selected or whatever. If you can see that, that means that you did not do it correctly, so you must uh, redo the anchoring part. So you'll have to do that whole thing again. But anyways, if you see the whole thing kind of uh, hovering around the figure that you did. Uh, what you want to do is go onto the paint bucket tool right here and you want to make sure that the uh, foreground color is on black so that's the one on the left so just click on it and if it's not on black change it to black here by clicking on one of these things and uh, when this is solid black what you want to do is put the paint bucket onto your figure and just left click and there you go you have your silhouette but we still have this background um, and I don't really like that background so all you need to do is to make it like a green background or something like that, whatever it is on the commercials. Uh, in the layers panel here, you want to again create a new layer like we did before. So create a new layer. And this time we want to select foreground color. And we want it to be different colors. So what do we want to do is go into the toolbox and click on the foreground color again, which is the one on the left. And change it to whatever color we want to be our background. So if I want it to be a green or a red, you just want to choose a color, you can play around with it a little bit. I actually feel like uh, yellow would be nice, or something like that. So this kind of yellow I want to do. 
So all you want to do is click OK, and once you see the foreground color is what you want, that's going to be your background, so click foreground color and click OK. Now obviously it's all covered up right now, so all you need to do is uh, click this little green arrow going down while uh, you're clicked on the yellow, just click the little green arrow, and there you go, now it's in the middle of the two layers. And then you're all set guys, so now we have our silhouette, all we need to do is save it to our desktop or wherever you want to save it, and then you can use it for whatever. Um, a presentation or just for your entertainment. I just find this kind of fun to do sometimes and create a collection of them. Um, you can't do this with a video obviously because it'd be too hard, but just for a single picture it looks pretty cool. Alright? So I'm not even going to save it. I don't care about it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys are interested in these kind of GIMP and Photoshop and picture editing tutorials, uh, please leave a comment down below because I'm trying to think of ideas to do and sometimes the theming videos for iPod Touch and iPhone, they're not that popular or um, they're not searched for very much even if they're cool so I don't get a lot of views on them. But uh, leave your comments on how you, what you think of uh, the picture editing software videos like this on uh, how to use Photoshop and GIMP for special things. Um, so yeah, leave some feedback and uh, make sure to like this video, that'd be also great and uh, you can uh, favorite it as well if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already that would be much appreciated I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers I know I've gotten a lot recently after my last spirit jailbreak video um, I do make a lot of iPod touch and iPhone videos as well as you can see if you checked out my channel they are the majority but uh, I decided to make a tech video for a change but anyways guys uh, I will see you guys later